And now I want to introduce this next gentleman. He is a wonderful, wonderful entertainer. He's a singer. He's a radio guy, too. He's a producer. He's a dad, and he's my friend. His name is John Eric Booth, and he joins us on 740 KVOR. John Eric Booth, Happy New Year. Hello, my friend. Good Hello. to be back. Good to have you, man. So uh, I've been seeing some stuff. You have been gigging and doing some great stuff. First of all, folks, you you got to listen to this gentleman. He can, he's got great phrasing. He does big band. He can do any genre of music. But uh, lately, your favorite's been what, John? My favorite's been as far as big band goes. Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, I do a little Elvis. I do some uh, Sinatra. Elvis. I do. Yeah. 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 Um, Pearl Jam. Me over, uh, <laughs> so I recorded some Elvis. Oh, that's awesome. Now, you and I have known each other for several years. Look, uh, I want to know, tell everybody how you feel about this inauguration. Uh, you, you know, these A-listers, quote-unquote, they're like, they're, they're way too petulant, way too sour to be a part of it. And uh, Donald Trump and, frankly, the rest of America is like, okay, whatever. I think John Eric Booth ought to be out there entertaining the, the uh, millions. You know... I couldn't agree more. And first of all, go Trump. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're all on the same page here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, if, if they... Uh, I doubt about being begged to perform at, at the inauguration. Right. Uh, it's just their uh, their approach to the whole thing. They're all being considerably rude and very, uh, well, very liberal, obviously. Sure. Um, so, yeah, so I would sort of uh, leave them to the voice. Sorry, we're still here. We've had a little trouble there. Hang on now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You still there? Oh, dad damn it. We'll get him back. We'll get John Eric Booth back on it. We just lost him. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties uh, prompted by Tron. Anyway, we're talking to him, and John Eric Booth, he is an entertainer. He is, you can find him on Facebook, by the way. He does big band music. He does Elvis. He can pretty much sing anything. He's about my age, and he's probably going to be mad for you te- for me telling you that, but that's just the way it goes. <laughs> known him for years and look there are people out there that are a little uh you know a little snobbish about the whole uh uh inauguration situation they, they don't want to perform because they're so self-important once again and they don't like trump because trump is dangerous or whatever their little deal is but john eric booth this guy's a real american he knows what's up he's a grassroots guy and he's back with us on 740 kvr sorry about that john I guess the tower was hit by lightning. That's exactly right. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I think it was uh, the, the libs. They're after me. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, uh, d- in our interruption, we're talking about, look, the inauguration. The most important thing of the whole thing is, is we're getting a new president, a president who loves America. You have been stalwart in your belief system as well. Push back and defeat the left, right? Absolutely, yes. And, uh, you know, a fresh approach with a lot of things has taken place here. Mm-hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, hey, a fresh approach with uh, the inauguration as yeah. well. And I'm so, I'm so glad that Jackie Avancho is performing, first of all. Oh, I know. We were uh, just talking about her. Yeah, I was listening. And and I, she's, she's fantastic. Um, I've always been a, just voice of an angel. And... So there's a lot of great talent in the country that's uh, you know, like myself. I mean, I'm, I'm just what I mean is that aren't exactly on the big radar. That's exactly no, right. This is an opportunity. It's an interesting opportunity for a lot of people out there. They're going to get a little time in front of many, many people who perhaps have not heard of them. Had they didn't watch America's Got Talent, or perhaps they haven't turned tuned into John Eric Booth. I'd love to see you up on that stage, man. As a matter of fact, I would like to be on that stage with you, and we could do Elvis duets. It'd be great. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> gotta have some fun and, you know, with and it, it's baby. like, and the the good thing is, is that I mean, anybody that's there, of course, we would it it, it would just be positive all the way. It is. It's going um, to be very positive. I would, as far as I'm concerned, it would be an honor and a privilege to uh, entertain the first, the first, the pending first family. Yes, and. Oh my gosh, what a party it would well, be, what? and we would just do it New York style. Well, and by the way, have they, you know, I saw a list of uh, marching bands and so forth at the inauguration, but I haven't really seen a list of a, a, the absolute specific list of entertainers yet. Why couldn't people say, hey, let's get John Eric Booth up there? I mean, you're, you're pretty close to the whole thing. Where do you live? I'm in West Virginia. See? I'm, yeah. You're oh, a bus yeah. right away, and- man. I'm not far. Yeah, by golly, I'll drive. And, uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and of course, my man, my man Pat Longo is up in um, um, New Jersey yes. now, and he's a, a staunch uh, Trump supporter as well. Right. And uh, of course, uh, if, you know, for me and Pat Longo's Hollywood Big Band to be there awesome. would be just. Uh, oh, it would just be a. It'd be a. It would be a dream team. Yeah, and. 
<laughs> so I, I want to know though, uh, you know, and, I, and we, we're talking and so forth, and you know, it's talk radio. But I want people to tune into some of your tunage. How do people get in touch with John Eric Booth? And by the way, once you do, you ought to go send uh, uh, Donald Trump a tweet saying, "Hey, put him on the stage." But I want people to hear your music. Where do they go, John? They can go to, of course, my website, johnericbooth.com. Okay. Um, I'm also on Facebook. That would be uh, facebook.com forward slash, this is a nickname that was given to me about four years ago, facebook.com forward slash Prince of Cool. Check it out, you guys. You're going to love his stuff. His, I tell you, you did a Christmas party. You put it up there. You have amazing voice. You have great, uh, you have great cadence. You have a great phrasing. And God bless you, sir. Thanks for spending a little time with us on 740 KVOR, John. Thank you, Tron. Pleasure. All right, man. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wayne Allen Root's going to join us next in, uh, in our last segment. So hang on, everybody. We're coming right back on 740 KVOR.